What's up you guys? Today's video I wanted to talk through five fashion pieces that I've invested in in my 30s. These pieces are really just timeless classic items that are meant to be used a lot. They're meant to be super versatile and also I just feel like the little extra added investment will create a really well-rounded 30s wardrobe. As always everything mentioned in today's video will be down below in that description box. I've got a mixture of like old favorites from my personal closet and also some new things from today's sponsor Saks Fifth Avenue is one of my favorite hubs for luxury and high-end brands. They also have the friends and family sale going on right now. So great time to scope out the site to see if there's anything on your investment wish list. You can get a good deal off of that. So I'll include all the details down below. And on that note, Let's get started. In no particular order, fashion investment item number one is going to be the quintessential little black dress. I kind of feel like there's a different little black dress for like each decade. In my 20s, I wanted something that was like a party dress, shows a lot of skin, and now in my 30s, it's just a completely different ball game. Some of the things I look for, something that's versatile enough to be in a professional setting, and also formal dressier occasions. Two different examples to show you guys. For the dressier option, it's this beautiful belted sheath dress from Black Halo. I've actually had this on my wish list for so long. It's such a beautiful, sophisticated, modern dress. The neckline is really unique and almost sits asymmetrical. It's got beautiful draping, a nice sleeveless cut that frames the shoulder and the body so well. You've got a nice tailored waist to kind of accentuate your waistline. And then the belt really accentuates that nip while creating kind of like a nice little focal point right here. And then lastly, the bottom is like a pencil skirt. It kind of hugs the curves, a nice slight taper, and just looks really really elegant and streamlined from top to bottom. This is a dress where I feel like so confident in. I can do a presentation while also showing up to a little soiree and feel like I fit into both scenarios. And if that is way too dressy for you, I love a simple stretchy ribbed dress like this one that I'm wearing from Cotton Citizen. I got like so many, but this one in particular is such good quality. It's actually lined. So you have great opacity. It has a nice stretch, simple, nice scoop neckline. and. I love this dress because you could dress it up, you could dress it down. Some sneakers and a denim jacket for running errands or traveling. You can wear it to a business casual situation with an oversized blazer and some pumps, or you can wear it with some chic heels and a statement clutch for a dressier event. Most important thing is that your little black dress should feel like a no brainer option. You can always grab it if you have a last minute thing to go to. You can put it on and feel 10 out of 10 every single time. Investment item number two has got to be a great pair of jeans. The jeans Green gamut is so broad and I've tried and loved everything from affordable to mid-tier to designer but I think the thing about having just a really good quality pair of jeans is that it's really hard to beat in terms of like cost per wear. We're wearing jeans all year round. Denim is such a big wardrobe staple. I think if I can wind it down to four different pairs this is a really great well-rounded foundation, a simple pitch black pair, a nice dark blue rinse, a light to medium bright happy blue rinse and then a pure white jean from spring summer fall to winter you've got like the whole spectrum and what I found as the best benefits of having like a designer or high-end jean is number one the fit I just feel like they fit so much more tailored to the body especially when it comes to high-rise jeans second there's a lot of great bounce back to the jeans you wear them over and over again and you're not having any baggy situation underneath the butt area three the material the denim quality like I have rag and bone jeans that I've had for like eight years now and they still feel and look like the first day I wore them. And even more so now, I'm looking for high quality jeans that have a lot of stretch. And especially being a mom now, like I need to be able to be mobile, to be able to get on my knees. Funny enough, now that I'm a mom, one of my favorite brands is actually Mother Jeans. They somehow have like the highest bounce and stretch factor, but they still are nice and tight. And, and if you're gonna go all in and put more cost toward a pair of jeans, I try to look for things that are a little bit more classic and timeless in terms of the rins. Nothing that is like overly faded, overly trendy, overly distressed. Things that kind of have more of like a clean cut. And then for something that's in between, you can never go wrong with Levi's, especially in terms of like the less stretchier options. Their 70s style is so good. Their rib cage ankle is one of my favorite fits of all time. You've got that iconic like leather tab in the back. I think that's like the perfect Goldilocks in between option between high-end designer 
skincare and affordable under 50. And then in terms of fit, because I'm petite, I love a high rise fit and something that hits right there at the ankle or a little bit above for that perfect leg elongating ratio. And I'll include these lists of favorite brands down below for you guys to check out. Investment item number three has got to be a pair of nude pumps and black boots. Now, I think if I had to have three pairs of shoes for the rest of my life, a pair of white sneakers, those nude pumps, and the black boots are like the well-rounded trio for me for all year round, all occasions. But I feel like white sneakers, you can get really great white sneakers for affordable price. But for the nude pumps and the black boots, I really think you get a great increase in quality and wearability and craftsmanship with those investments. So the nude pumps are versatile because you can club in these, you can go to a formal occasion in these, you could go to work in these. And of course it is fall. The black boot is so great for all of the fall, winter, cold weather stuff. These particular ones are from Stodd. These have all of the qualities of what I would consider are like the perfect investment black booty because they are dressy looking but also casual and comfortable enough to be worn every day. First off for comfortability you have a nice low heel you get just a little bit of lift but it's still a walkable height. The actual weight of this is so lightweight. The long squared off toe creates a nice leg elongating effect. The shaft is a nice fitted shape so it's not too loose or slouchy and the most unique thing that I love is this heel. The heel looks like a stiletto heel from the side so it kind of appears to be more of like a dressier kind of boot but if you can see on the back it's actually a full wide width heel. This is a great boot that you can wear with dresses, you can wear with leggings, you can wear with jeans. The clean and minimal design also doesn't lean towards one specific genre. It's just kind of like a great workhorse chameleon. If you guys have been around my channel for a while, you guys know these are like my go-to pumps. These are I think my fourth or fifth pair of Sam Edelman hazel pointy toed pumps. I think I've tried all the different versions of beige, camel, caramel. They're not full on designer, but they're definitely an investment. They have a great like three to three and a half inch stiletto heel, pointy toes in the front, just the perfect pump in my opinion. And my highest suggestion is try to find just a nice color that is similar to the skin tone and you're gonna get all the leg lengthening benefits and versatility in these pumps hands down. Item number four is going to be a handbag. I feel like investing in a good quality handbag is very similar to the shoes. Good craftsmanship, materials, like a handbag is just like the cherry on top to all your outfits. You use it every day, it holds all your precious items. So again, in terms of cost per wear and functionality, I think it's a worthwhile investment. Now I've got two examples here. I have a black, shiny, almost glam style structured bag compared to a simple minimalist nude one. This one is from a brand called Reap Projects. It's a black owned brand. Their bags are so beautiful. They're somehow structured and organic at the same time. They have very clean minimalist lines. This one is the Helene mini hobo bag. One of my favorite things to look for in these investment bags is like multi wear uses. So here I'm able to hold it as like a top handle, the crook of my elbow, and it also has a detachable full fully adjustable strap that you can wear at crossbody, shoulder. And then in contrast to this one, we have this one from Demelier. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Forgive me if I didn't. They create these really kind of like twist on a classic style bags. This is a simple rounded square shape. We have all of the glitz and the glamour with this statement hardware and this bright gold. In contrast to like the smooth leather, we have a lizard embossed print on this bag. And again, with the versatility, this this strap is not only adjustable, but you also can double it up to be a shoulder bag. You can keep it fully extended for a crossbody, or you can just slightly increase the top for a top handle style. They're simple in design for every day, but also have a nice elevated look for a dressier occasion. And both of them are multi-wear. And last but not least, investment fashion item number five has got to be the jewelry. I feel like jewelry is kind of like the little sprinkles on top to your outfit. You're just kind of like icing yourself and just a little bit of bling. What's also really special about jewelry is it has so much sentimental value. But for me, I've been slowly investing in just solid gold jewelry. I kind of lean towards like the full metal just because I have low irritation. Also great benefits are no tarnishing, no turning green. You can wash your hands. You can be in the shower. You can literally like live in your jewelry nonstop and not have to worry about swapping things out or having more of a high maintenance 
needs care. In terms of the actual pieces that I find to be great investments are a simple pair of gold hoops. I've got these two sizes that look nice and chunky and substantial. However, they're hollow, so they're nice and light and they don't give me a headache. In terms of necklaces, just everyday wear. You can never go wrong with some delicate pieces. You can do something with just a very beautiful focal point, like a simple little diamond in the middle. I also love chains. My favorite is just a very sophisticated box chain. It's got an extra glitz to it, but it's also very modern, smooth type of chain. Then for rings, I can definitely stack on the rings. They just give so much personality to like your movements. You can do a nice mix of statement pieces with subtle ones. Of course, your wedding or engagement ring is so special. For the bracelet, I really love a simple cuff. A cuff has so much structural like strength, but also a nice high impact piece. And I think the fun part about stylizing your last touches on your outfit is mixing and matching all these pieces for like the perfect harmony. All right guys, that does it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, everything mentioned in today's video will be down below in the description bar. Huge thank you to Saks Fifth Avenue for sponsoring today's video. Again, we've got the friends and family sale going on right now. Check out some of the big brands. You can snag some deals. I love you guys so much. I hope you have an amazing day out there. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!